I'm Ollie McBurney and this is Behind the Ink. I don't know if I should really say this, but uh, it's funny because my mum lives in America and she was over this week and was talking about him with my girlfriend. And I think I was maybe 15 or 16, but she didn't really know about that at the time. So it was actually this one here. And uh, my brother had actually, my brother's quite a good artist, my little brother, and I'd got him to draw up like a stencil for me. I'd gone into the, bar, uh, into the tattoo shop and got the guy to do it for me. So I was a cool kid at school with a, with a tattoo. <laughs> my dad always had tattoos, so I kind of was, you know, always introduced to him by him. I was always, I was always really, really keen on him. And, you know, I was always pestering my dad to be able to, to let me get him early, never would. So I obviously to, to get a couple in secret, but you know, he was, he was always a, uh, Keen on me just getting the right artist, and you know, as long as it be good artwork, then um, you'll, you'll never kind of regret it. So, yeah. I'm about 35 hours into my back now, so I've got my, most of my back done. It's not, not, not enjoyable, but you know, it's, it's good to get it done. Yeah, so that one always means a lot to me. So, that one was actually, I'd been released by Leeds and was on the way to uh, like a, I was on trial at Bradford, and it was my first game to Bradford. And we pulled up at a set of lights and in the car next to us, the guy had his hand on the wheel like that and across his forearm there it said Carpe Diem. And my dad was like, oh that means seize the day, so I got and like seize the day in the game. And I scored a hat-trick in that game and then got offered a scholarship by Bradford after that game. So that one kind of meant something to me. I've got one on my calf that's me and my brother playing footy as well. When we were kids, you know, my brother plays footy as well now. Um, he's at Weymouth, so you know, it was always our dream to be professional footballers, you know, since we was two years old, so you know, that, that one, that, them two are probably the ones that mean the most to me. My missus initials as well, I better say that one otherwise I get in trouble. Yeah, Scarface was always my favourite film growing up. I can't tell you the amount of times I've watched it and I just I just like the way that he came from nothing and then he seen what he wanted and he did everything to take it. I don't agree with all, everything that he did, obviously, but uh, yeah, I just like his, his mindset that nothing was going to stop him from getting where he wanted to get. It's just one way to express yourself. I think, you know, the culture is becoming a lot more accepting, you know, from probably when, you know, my dad's age, probably it was a lot more frowned upon getting tattoos and it was a lot more, you won't be able to get a job, you'll be able to do this sort of thing with tattoos, whereas now it's a lot more accepted. I think that the level of the artists out there now is incredible, you know, some of the things that they can do and put onto your skin is, is incredible. And I think people just appreciate the art more. I'm just a fan of the, the art and the way it looks and the, and the quality that they can do. So, like I say, yeah, it's, um, it's a lot more accepted and I think they look cool, man. People look cool. So, just chatting, the McAllister shirt, these are the boots he got the assist for Di Maria in the World Cup final. <laughs> he wears them boots all the time, that is incredible. Unbelievable! They've made it to the Emirates FA Cup quarter final and this fan base have been accepted.